Welcome to the Police Accountability Podcast. Brought to you by CopBlock.org. CopBlock is a decentralized project supported by a diverse group of individuals united by their shared goals of police accountability, education of individual rights, and the sharing of effective tactics to utilize while filming police. Sunny Phoenix, Arizona. This is the Police Accountability Report, brought to you by CopLock. NOLA.com is reporting that on Thursday night, three New Orleans officers were found guilty of killing a man in the aftermath of Hurricane Katrina. Henry Glover was shot by someone while he was attempting to gather food and water for his family. After stumbling nearly 100 yards into the street, Glover was found by his brother, Ed King, and friend, William Tanner. King and Tanner loaded Glover into the car they sped off in search for medical assistance. With the condition of the city, the occupants decided that the quickest route to help was to head directly to a local school when New Orleans police had set up shop. As they pulled into the schoolyard, William Tanner and Ed King were forced from their vehicle at gunpoint and severely beaten. Officer Greg McRae then took the car containing Glover and drove off with it. That was the last time anyone would see Glover alive. McRae drove Glover to a ditch a few miles away on the Mississippi Delta and set the car on fire by throwing a flare into it. It turns out that the person that originally shot Glover while he was gathering supplies was none other than Officer David Warren. Glover was shot by the police and other police under direction of Lieutenant Travis McCabe covered up the incident by burning Glover's body in a car. Sentencing has not yet taken place. A recent article on Gawker.com is reporting that Chicago police will taser just about anyone. In the last year, Chicago's finest have used their tasers nearly 350% more than the previous year. Contributing to this dramatic increase was a doubling in the taser arsenal the police department has provided for the employees to utilize. Not only did the Chicago Police Department increase the number of tasers in use, but it made a procedural change to stop investigating every use of a taser. A recent report released by the Independent Police Review Authority claims that the exponential growth in the use of tasers is helping to defuse tense situations. Apparently, there is no better way to gain compliance of an unruly suspect than to deploy their portable electrical torture devices. Why has the police department stopped investigating each taser incident? The report answered this question by stating that the hundreds of incidents were overwhelming its resources. Instead, they will only investigate if allegations of misconduct are made, serious injury or death results, or a minor or senior citizen was targeted. Statistics show that cops will use their tasers more frequently when they are unlikely to face investigation. It is unclear what, if any, qualifications exist in a situation that would justify the electrocution of another human being. With reports like this surfacing, there are more reasons now than ever before to never call the cops, never talk to cops, and avoid cops at all cost. Whether the ADA should mandate the existence of handicapped parking spots is another topic, but it is a common conception that these are reserved solely for handicapped people. After seeing a police officer parked in a handicapped space, a concerned civilian snapped a photograph of the infraction which took place at the Elliott City Bookstore in September. After an exhaustive review of the incident that spanned from September until December, the Howard County police officer, whose name is being withheld, will receive a stern talking to and a letter to his file. And now we have a special report from the field from one of our own Cop Block contributors and founding members, Adam Freeman. Hi, this is Adam with CopBlock.org. Some of you may know that last week I had a trial, and that trial was for filming police officers back in May of 2009 while with Motorhome Diaries. Um, After a full day's trial from 8 in the morning till 4 in the afternoon, Um, where I and the defense presented our cases, the uh, end result was a hung jury with uh, four uh, not guilties and two guilties. So the uh, hung jury was actually in my favor. Um, Anyone interested in learning more about this story can go to libertyontour.com slash Jones County or visit our CopLock YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash the CopLock, where you can see the deleted footage and uh, though the DA charged me with disorderly conduct, you will be able to tell that I was clearly arrested filming so police officers. Keep the good fight, everybody. This is Nick signing off. Special thanks to InjusticeEverywhere.com, and keep it right here on LRN.FM for more liberty-oriented programming.